to do here is use example seven uh, in our book uh, called approximating a zero of a polynomial function. And what we're going to do is use the intermediate value theorem to approximate the real zero of f of x is equal to x to the third minus x squared plus one. If you look at the picture of the graph, you'll see that we actually cross uh, a zero right here. And um, it happens somewhere between negative 1 when x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to 0. So what they're saying is, the intermediate value theorem says, is that since we have a, a negative value for f of x at negative 1 and a positive value at when x is equal to 0, that somewhere in between we have to cross the x-axis and form a zero. So the question is, is what's the value of x at which that happens? So what they've done is that they are looking over here and they've created a list of uh, domain values, x, negative two, negative one, zero, and one, because obviously that zero is somewhere in that region. So as you look at the values of f of x, you see, yes, we're way negative at negative 11. We're getting close at negative 1 and then all of a sudden we're at positive 1. So somewhere here we have crossed 0. So what they've decided to do is break up between negative 1 and 0 uh, into um, tenths. So they're saying alright let's let's look at um, negative uh, 0.1, 0.2, 0.3 and so on to 0.9. So we can find the, the, the tenth, at least, at which somewhere we're switching from negative to positive. And then once we find that, and they, and they show you then that they get negative 0.8 um, is a negative value, but negative 0.7 gives a very slightly positive value. So somewhere in there, we're, we're in there. So, so then look at what we're going to do. We're going to actually go from negative 0.7 and break that up into tenths. So now we're talking about one hundredths and we break that up into uh, 0 0.71, 0 0.72, 0 0.73 and we're talking about negative 0.71, etc. and uh, get to negative 0.79. And as we break that up then we can find um, a tenth and if you want to keep on going, they say you can continue this process and you can approximate this zero to any desired uh, accuracy. So in order to uh, use tools available to us, I'm going to use Google Sheets here to show the values of f of x when x has different values. So I've already centered the uh, column B and so I'm just going to put an X here and say this is going to be my X. And, I, and I'm going to go just like what the book did, go from negative 2, and uh, then the next cell will be negative 1. And just being a lazy programmer, we're just going to keep on going. 0, 1, and there we go. And, and now we're going to program F of X. So I'm going to title this F of X, and I'll show you how to center that in a little bit. But we're, let's go ahead and make uh, f of x act on negative 2. Watch how we do this. I'm going to say equals, and then I'm going to put parentheses, and I'm going to click on the cell that contains that negative 2, and I'm going to close the parentheses, and I'll use a shift 6, which is an up arrow caret, and say to the third power, because that's what f of x is. f of x is equal to x to the third minus x squared plus 1. So now in order to get away from the exponent, we have to give it a space and then say minus, open parentheses, click on that negative 2 again, and then close parentheses, and up arrow 2, and then space, and then add 1. And there we go. Now watch what happens. If I hit return, now it's saying 11. Let's go ahead and adjust that. Uh, column, that whole column I want to uh, make centered. So there we go. And now we're going to do the same thing for everything else. Watch how this populates if I just go down 
and um, and there it is. So notice that that's the exact same list here. Negative two gives me negative 11, negative one gives me negative one, zero gives me one, one gives me one, and I'll show you that that's exactly what we have here. 11, negative one, one, and one uh, for those values. So the next thing that we're going to do is that we're gonna drill down because we notice that we go from negative one to one. So I'm gonna go to into tenths, and so we're gonna talk about uh, negative point one, negative point two, etc. And so let's do that here. We're going to go negative point one, negative point two, negative point two, and uh, we're going to do the lazy thing again because I want ten of them. And so we're going to go down here like that. Oh, need more. And actually, I just want 0.9 because we already know what 0.1 is, or 1.0, negative 1.0 is. That's just negative 1. So now we're going to do this. We're going to copy the, uh, the programming that we gave that and give it to here. And there's our values. Now, so watch what happens from, from negative 0.1. We know we're positive because we were heading toward that positive 1 here in the picture. Um, but as we head more negatively to the left, you see that we cross over from being positive to negative. So somewhere between uh, negative 0.7 and negative 0.8, we, our zero is lurking in there somewhere because it's between negative 0.152 and positive 0.167. Well, if you want to, we can get some more accuracy and and drill down into there. So let's do this. Let's go uh, one hundredths between negative point seven and negative point eight. So we're just going to take, um, how about this? We're going to start with negative point seven one. And we're going to go negative point seven two. And let's let's do that all the way to negative point eight. So we're going to go like this. And do I have enough? Yep, I did it perfectly. Because the next one is going to be negative point eight. If I just go with those tens. And once again, we could just copy f of x. And here we are. And there we have it. Look at that. Right between negative 0.75 and negative 0.76 I went from positive to negative and so my zero is in there and we could just keep on going for as long as we want accomplished what we wanted to do in example 7 by approximating the x value of f of x that that gives us our zero and the best that we can do is approximate and uh, we decided to approximate I think I got it down to negative 0.754 uh, and I'm gonna stop right there and say I think that's close enough there is our zero